Proverbs 11, 21 The Antichrist Foolish Mark Proverbs 11, 21 Be assured, the evil person will not go unpunished, but the descendants of the righteous will be rescued. Without studying church history, many Christians may believe the Roman Catholic Church is one of the first organized churches there was, but not so. The Book of Acts is full of churches forming and believers gathering for worship. Sometimes, they really did not meet or congregate in so-called church buildings, but someone's house. The Roman Catholic was so powerful cause it was just basically the Roman Empire, becoming religious. This church is a spiritual empire, with a prophetic vision given to Daniel, it is a government power that rises out of the beast of Rome. Daniel 8, 8 The goat became very powerful. But at the height of his power, his large horn was broken off. In the large horn's place grew four prominent horns pointing in the four directions of the earth. Nine then from one of the prominent horns came a small horn whose power grew very great. It extended toward the south and the east and toward the glorious land of Israel. Ten its power reached to the heavens, where it attacked the heavenly army, throwing some of the heavenly beings and some of the stars to the ground and trampling them. 11 It even challenged the commander of heaven's army by cancelling the daily sacrifices offered to him and by destroying his temple. 12 The army of heaven was restrained from responding to this rebellion. So, the daily sacrifice was halted and truth was overthrown. The horn succeeded in everything it did. Any group of Christians who did not follow its teachings or beliefs was considered a heretic, an enemy of the papacy church, and they were treated like criminals. One such group was the Waldensians. They were reformers before the Reformation started. They lived between the Italian and French mountains or the Alps. Unlike the Roman Catholics, they lived by all the Holy Bible and did not add any pagan traditions. The Pope of the Catholic Church Latin title is Vicarious Filii Dei, which means representative of the Son of God. So whoever has the title Pope, because there have been many popes, during the history of the Catholic Church, believes he is God on earth. With that authority to change God's word, according to scripture, and antichrist behavior. The Waldensians were just a community of Christians who lived in the mountains, raising their families, and instructing their children about Christ. They believe in sharing the gospel of Christ, so a couple of men would go to nearby towns and pass out little papers of scripture. They knew they were under the watchful eye of the Catholics, so they did not carry whole Bibles. Still, the Pope would send his so-called Holy Army to persecute the Waldensian Christian in the name of God. A heretic in the eyes of the Pope had no innocence no matter what gender, age, or size. Persecuting the children of Waldensian meant nothing but only killing a non-believer of the so-called Holy Catholic Church. Many Waldensians were slaughtered, but with the discovery of the New World, they moved to North and South America. Even if the Roman Catholic Church tried to do away with the Waldensian Christians their descendants live more safely, for now. God bless you all, the Lord Jesus loves you, and so do I. Samuel H. 1 John 2, 18 Children, it is the last hour, and just as you heard that Antichrist is coming, even now many Antichrists have appeared, from this, we know that it is the last hour. 19 They went out from us, but they were not really of us, for if they had been of us, they would have remained with us, but they went out so that it would be evident that they all are not of us. 2 John 6 And this is love, that we walk according to his commandments. This is the commandment, just as you have heard from the beginning, that you are to walk in it. 7 For many deceivers have gone out into the world, those who do not acknowledge Jesus Christ as coming in the flesh. This is the deceiver and the antichrist. 8. Watch yourselves, that you do not lose what we have accomplished, but that you may receive a full reward. 9. Anyone who goes too far and does not remain in the teaching of Christ, does not have God, the one who remains in the teaching has both the Father and the Son.